Traditionally, the way that uh, banks have been regulated for the last 10, 20 years is to focus on bank by bank risk. So the notion was that if you stop individual banks from taking risks, then there won't be a financial crisis where all banks have a problem. What turned out to be the case was that this kind of regulation completely failed to stop the crisis. So the reason is that there's another kind of risk, which is this systemic risk. And what happened in this crisis, that the particular systemic risk that started it all was bubbles in housing prices. So we saw that in the US, of course. Uh, we, we saw very steep run-ups in places like Miami, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and so on. But we also saw the same phenomenon in Europe. So the two extreme cases at the moment, which have having problems, are Ireland and uh, Spain. Now, many other countries also had run-ups. They haven't burst in quite the same way yet. The, U the UK had a little bit of a wobble. Uh, the Netherlands had a big run-up, but a little bit of a wobble, but nothing like Spain or Ireland island yet. So uh, that's one example of a systemic risk. What we talked about in the high in the executive training session was that aspect but also many other kinds of systemic risks that are out there and uh, we spent two hours on that. We had a very interesting and uh, fruitful discussion with the next uh, lecturer, uh, um, Joanna Gray, who was talking about the legal aspects, so we, we were able to have a, an interesting discussion on the interaction of the two.